Welcome back, everybody. My name is Renee, and this is Highly Motivated, a channel where we check out different things that I find interesting, and hopefully you do too. Today, we're going to be looking at some creepy TikToks that will make you question your life. Do me a favor, everybody, and subscribe and like this video. Your support really helps me, and I am working on building a community here. Let's get into the video. I was telling myself not to look this case up because I heard about some parts of it, but this one is insane, and Abby Choi and her family deserve justice. This is by far one of the most gruesome crimes straight out of Hong Kong. Oh, and the details are graphic, so here's your warning. 28-year-old influencer, socialite, and model Abby Choi was discovered three days after she was reported missing by her husband. Her legs were found in a fridge, and her skull was removed by investigators from a cooking pot. Now, this wasn't just somebody random who did this a to her. Pot. The home her body was found in was rented by her ex-father-in-law. Those involved were once considered as family, and so far seven people have been arrested, including her ex-husband, Alex Kwong his father, his brother, and his father's mistress, along with others. Okay, this part made me sick to my stomach. When police got into the home, they found meat grinders, rubber gloves, and a cooking pot. In that cooking pot, it looked like soup. There was carrots, radishes, and something that looked like human flesh. Just wait until I tell you the reason why people think this happened to her. People who will be- Wow, you know what's funny? Um, there are some cultures that believe that if you eat the body of someone that you absorb their like power and luck and things like that so maybe if she was successful that was their motive i'm not sure let's move forward release from prison soon luis alfredo garabillo he killed and kidnapped over 200 kids he will be released in 2023 Yolanda Saldivar. I don't need a lot. Coffee's only a dime. She killed Michael Muskinson. No, she killed She will be released in 2025. Why is this movie known as the deadliest movie ever made? Antrim is a horror movie about two siblings who accidentally dig a hole to hell. And it's said to have caused over 50 deaths for people who watched it. There's even a legal notice before the movie starts, telling people to watch at their own risk. Because many people have passed away mysteriously after watching this movie, including film festival managers who received it, and entire theaters have collapsed. Like in 1988 when Antrim was shown in Budapest, the theater mysteriously caught on fire, killing 56 people as it collapsed. So everyone thought the film reel would have burned as well, except it stayed mysteriously intact. Then in 1993, Antrim was shown in San Francisco. Audience members reported feeling very anxious, which eventually resulted in a riot as people realized they were locked inside the venue. This tragedy also unfortunately caused multiple deaths. That's how Antrim gained a reputation for being a real life cursed movie. Let me know the history of Antrim make you want to see it more? Or will you hey, Listen, I guarantee you they were rituals. The devil, demons, um, the spirit world, the realm, it is real. Angels, real. It's all real. And it's either good or it's evil. And it's either God or it's the devil. And, and everything else breaks down into that, you know. Um, you see the aspects of um, Satanism in the music industry, in the film industry, and it was literally the purpose of it was to um, turn people away from God. Never go near this movie and follow for more. The zombie apocalypse is about to happen. Scientists have successfully reanimated a 48,500 year old zombie virus oh, that great. was found frozen in <laughs> Siberia. You we see, the reason why they did that was to study how it works. But when they did that, they realized that there was at least 13 other viruses of similar nature that were being trapped in the permafrost. Mm -hmm. Experts warn that with the increasing warming of the Earth, it's only a matter of time before these viruses are released into the atmosphere, or worse, weaponized for destructive purposes. With the power struggle in our day and age, is it really far out to believe that? I think a lot of you guys- Listen, how many times in your lifetime has a politician told you that we had 10 years because of global warming or, or now it's climate change? Let me tell you something. There's been one constant 
And it's that the climate changes. <laughs> Not something we're doing. Also feel like our timelines are messed up because so many people were shocked to know that Eminem and Picasso were alive at the same time. But there are so many more of these weird overlaps and I could truly do this forever. And a quick reminder that if you love the spooky and dark, you'll love the podcast. You made us number 12 on the charts. First up, Oprah, Einstein, oh, also alive at the same time. Barbara Walters, Anne Frank, and Martin Luther King were all born in the same year. Joe Biden was actually born closer to Lincoln's second inauguration than to his own. The last dodo bird sighting happened after the witch trials had already started in the United States. Biden. If he wanted to, Van Gogh could have drank a Coca-Cola while he painted. Nintendo was also a year old when- And it would have been, would have been back when it had, you know, the, the ain in it, the ain in it. <laughs> Van Gogh died. And lastly, when Harvard was founded, they didn't offer calculus because Calculus had not been invented. I want to talk to you about the story of photographer Jeffrey Holland. He I don't was think we specifically known for doing these kidding. night shoots in abandoned I places. That. that was his thing. It's supposed to have a very creepy feel to it. This photo is from his last shoot, which was never publicized, as he went missing while exploring this church in Georgia. Well, the church itself, it's just as eerie as you can imagine. Like, it's got a cemetery on the grounds. Like, it's a spooky place, right? Once he did eventually go missing, police come to the last known location, which is this church. He did find his camera, and they fixated on this picture because it looked off from the rest. Kind of like shaky, like it's motion blurred, almost as if he was running or something. But if you look to the bottom left, there's something even more disturbing in this picture. He was not alone in that church. There was somebody in there with him wearing a mask. So the discovery of this photo prompted a manhunt of the grounds looking for this person, or at least evidence that they that were there. They did end up recovering the mask. As of today, oh. it remains in an evidence locker as nobody really knows what happened to this photographer with this person. Well, we can guess what happened to him. Like there there's like, there's been this plan, like we used to go to meetings on Wednesday in black cloaks. Okay. Uh, draw like a, a big star in the circle on the ground. Uh, we have like these cups of blood, drink it, pretty much. And we kind of like plant like world domination, like to make everyone gay and then like decrease the world population. So do you think your music videos are making kids gay? Uh, I think my music videos are making everyone gay and Obviously, people can turn gay due to a music video. Scientifically proven. Yeah, it's been it's been proved in science a million times. He thought he was talking to a returning customer. Okay. When he so there was a bit of sarcasm there, but there is a clear agenda here. There's um there's no there's no reason why grown men should be dressed like women. And these rappers, they have them dressing feminine, and they're clearly pushing an agenda. Look what happened with Bud Light. Now we've got Miller Light chiming in. Um, we need to stand firm in what we believe, and we need to say no. We are not living in your delusions. <laughs> found out who that was, this happened. An overnight security guard was recorded interacting with someone or something we can't see. Who is he talking to? Dispatch to 329. I think they Yes, sir. Who are you talking purpose. to? I'm talking to a lovely lady. Are you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? security guard runs in fear after realizing who he was talking to. He mentions it identified itself as Miss Abigail, an old lady who frequently visited them but had passed away. Why are there six million bodies beneath the city of Paris? It's because in the 18th century, the graveyards in France were overflowing with bodies and King Louis XVI needed a plan to organize this. So he arranged the construction of the catacombs. This is a whole second city underneath Paris. It's believed that the catacombs are over 350 kilometers long and are a complex maze of tunnels and corridors. You could imagine that getting lost in here would mean death. And 
and it does. A hotel doorkeeper named Philibert Aspar stumbled into the catacombs and explored them a little bit. But when his single candle went out, he was surrounded by nothing but darkness and bones. His body was found 11 years later, and he was only identified because of the keys that he carried during his lifetime. There's also this video of a man exploring the catacombs when he suddenly drops his camera and starts sprinting away, which means either he got lost or he wasn't alone down there. Regardless, he was never seen again, and nobody knows what happened to him. And now, wow, what do you guys think about tunnels underground? Do you believe that there are tunnels basically underneath every single city? Have you heard about that? What about underneath the Georgia airport? Let me know in the comments what you think. What happens when babies are raised without language? Well, this was a question that the Mughal Emperor Akbar asked. A man that ruled over the Mughal Empire in the 16th century. Basically, Akbar was wondering what mankind's natural language is. What is the original language that all our languages came from? And so what he did was run a language deprivation experiment. He ordered for several newborn infants to be raised by nurses who were instructed to not make any vocal sounds around them. Not a word was to be spoken. The outcome, well, apparently they turned out mute and Akbar was greatly disappointed. I should also add that we're not 100% sure if this actually happened. There is debate amongst scholars. And of course, many have criticized this experiment as inhumane and unethical. My dis base cord is free. Come over. Jesus Christ, the Adam. If they encouraged them to create a way to communicate, maybe they wouldn't have ended up mute. I mean, they're... they're there's not enough information. Any video? I watched a video on that this morning. There could be a time where the magnetic poles actually shift. This is science. They say that the last one was like 778,000 years ago and we're like something like 200,000 years overdue. But the Adam and Eve story, the theory of that is that it happens in cycles of 6,500 years and that it's a 90 degree flip but six days later, or on the seventh day, it corrects itself. And planet flips. Correct. It's a planet flip 90 degree, and that because of it, the Earth essentially does a standstill. The sun will be basically stay in the same spot, causing heating like we've never experienced, and that the wind and the waters continue with their momentum. Because essentially, the wind travels at approximately 1,000 miles an hour at the equator. So the theory is that when that event happens, it's going to be cataclysmic. Can some cameras pick um. up on the... Actually, according to the biblical text, uh, when the flood happened, it tilted the way the earth was, and the climate and everything about the earth completely changed from what it was prior to the flood, including the seasons and the, um, the way the sun and the moon and the stars were, so it was an entirely different environment. We really actually don't have much knowledge of what the world was like back before the flood. The paranormal. Back in the late 1800s, an inventor named Frank Lumiere claimed that he had invented a camera that could see into a realm that humans could not. And what he saw, people at the time were just not ready for. And before we dive in, if you love spooky stories, you'll love the podcast. To prove it, he had set up a booth at the Chicago World's Fair where he took some of these portraits. The crazy thing about that day was that most of the portraits Frank had taken came out completely normal. But there were a few portraits of young girls that came out severely distorted. Frank was accused of all sorts of things, of being a con man, of being a witch, and then eventually he disappeared in 1908 along with his camera. History largely forgot about Frank and his camera, but recently a historian noticed that all four women who were photographed like this that day died before their 25th birthday. It's unclear if the camera had anything to do with it, or if the camera could see something. Do you see a face in this image? Let's talk about a disturbing free SCP horror game. SCP-087. Full playthrough right here. SCP-087 is an enormous stairwell that exists on an unknown college campus. Researchers have tried to explore the stairwell, but no one has ever reached the bottom. That's where you come in. As you go deeper into the stairwell, you start to notice faces appearing, and there are strange sounds as well. Sounds like that of a crying child that beckons you to explore further. These disturbing events continue to appear more and more frequently as you descend, until we learn the truth about SCP-087. SCP-087. This SCP is basically a giant Venus flytrap. Its lower structures are made of flesh and they feed off of prey. And all of the disturbing sounds and appearances are meant to lure you deeper within so it can absorb you. At least, that's what I- Movies based on the truth. 
that man knows an awful lot about a video game. Story. Scream. The Amityville Horror. That's here in Annabelle. Winchester. The Conjuring. What happened to this mother and daughter? There is an urban legend about a ritual where a person would press the buttons of an elevator in a specific combination that will oh, end I've up transporting that. the rider to another dimension. Well, as far-fetched as this seems, this camera footage of a mother and daughter in Taiwan captured them removing their jackets and shoes before pressing the elevator buttons in a certain order and disappearing, never to be seen again. The building manager and the police were involved in the investigation, noting that the level which they got off could only have led them in two directions, and in both places, there was no trace of them at all. Even though this could be proof that the elevator game isn't just a legend, people wow. are wondering. This girl said that... Wow. How many of you guys have heard about the elevator game? Have you ever tried it? Have you ever played it? I've never played it. I've heard of it. Do you think it could be true? Let me know in the comments. When she was 16, she was riding horses with her friend in the field beside her house. The horse threw her off, and she hit her head hard. The next thing she knew, she was on her back in incredible pain, staring up at her friend, who was frantically screaming at her. Dazed, her gaze shifted and then refocused on her friend. Behind her stood a tall, thin man, wearing a black suit and an old-fashioned, wide-brimmed hat. She said that he was staring into her eyes over her friend's shoulder. Days later, when her friend came to visit her in the hospital, she asked her about the man she'd seen. She thought that it was the new boyfriend she'd recently told her about. Her friend said that there was no one there but the- So the Simpsons did it again, again, Wait, again. Yeah. They predict- Simpsons don't predict. I mean, just, let me just let you know, they are letting you know the plans that the elite or the powers that be, the um, fallen angels, whoever you identify them by, they are letting you know the plans, but let's just keep watching. The COVID-19 pandemic in 1993. So in 1993, they aired this episode called Marge in Chains. The episode, it like focused on, there was a virus that ended up getting into Springfield. Whoever got it ended up going to the doctor in town and he told them, oh, it's just the flu quarantine for seven days and you should be fine. But it ended up spreading like wildfire and everybody in the city got it. It was literally almost COVID exactly, except put into a car cartoon and shook it around a little bit. Wow. Yeah, uh, there have been lots of so-called predictions from the Simpsons over the years. There have been so many. Well, that was scary, creepy TikToks that will change the way you think. My name is Renee, and I really appreciate you guys joining me today. And until next time, stay highly motivated.